The story begins with Robert, a young ranger who had just landed his dream job at a national park. From a young age, he had always been fascinated by nature and animals. Every day at the park felt like a thrilling adventure, especially with the park's 30 African lions. With his dream now a reality, Robert embraced his new role with enthusiasm. He knew it was his job to protect and care for these majestic creatures, and he was determined to ensure they thrived in their beautiful home. One early morning, Robert set out in his jeep to patrol the park as the sun began to rise, painting the sky with soft pinks and oranges. The air was crisp, filled with the sweet scent of blooming flowers. His route took him through a rocky area where one of the lion prides made their home. These rocks were perfect for the lions, offering shelter, shade, and excellent views for spotting prey. As Robert approached, he spotted a group of playful young lions near the edge of a cliff. Their antics were delightful to watch, but the cliff's edge was a dangerous place for the cubs. Suddenly, Robert noticed a section of the rock crumbling beneath their paws. His heart skipped a beat as he realized the immediate danger they were in. He hoped that the adult lions would sense the peril and guide the cubs away from the edge before disaster struck. But before we go into more depth, don't forget to subscribe. We are aiming for 1,000 plus likes on this video, so be sure to like it. Let's continue the story. An older lion, sensing the danger, roared loudly to warn the cubs. The playful young lions, initially oblivious, finally noticed the urgency when the lion charged toward them. They started to move away from the cliff's edge, but it was too late. The weight of the adult lion caused a section of the cliff to crumble, and a large piece of rock broke away, taking one of the young lions down with it. Robert watched in horror as the lion slipped off the cliff. His heart pounded as he saw the lion's claws barely gripping a narrow ledge. Knowing the urgency, Robert quickly grabbed his radio and called for backup, urgently explaining the situation. He then drove his jeep to the cliff's edge, honking loudly to clear the area for the rescue. Thankfully, his plan worked, and the pride began to move away from the dangerous spot. Once the area was clear, Robert leaped out of his vehicle and hurried to the edge. Looking down, he saw the lion struggling to hold on, its claws slipping with each passing second. Realizing time was running out, Robert grabbed strong ropes from his jeep and began unrolling them. He knew he had only a few minutes before the lion's strength gave out. With steady hands, he prepared to secure the lion, determined to save it from falling into the abyss. Just then, Robert heard the familiar rumble of approaching jeeps. His fellow rangers had arrived, ready to help. Without wasting a moment, they sprang into action, following Robert's instructions. They quickly set up a system of ropes and began lowering one end down to the stranded lion. Leading the rescue, Robert took on the risky task of securing the lion with ropes. Carefully, he made his way to the cliff's edge and started lowering the rope. The lion, sensing the help, did not show any aggression. Its amber eyes were filled with a mix of fear and hope. Robert struggled to loop the rope around the lion's body. The lion's sudden movements nearly sent it tumbling into the abyss. But Robert spoke softly, trying to calm the frightened animal. Once the rope was securely in place, he signaled the other rangers to begin lifting. The task was grueling, the lion's weight was heavy, and the unstable cliff surface made the job even tougher. Inch by inch, the rangers pulled with all their might. After several intense minutes, the lion's face finally emerged over the edge. With a few more powerful pulls, they managed to get the lion safely back onto solid ground. Exhausted but alive, the lion lay on the grass, breathing heavily. The rangers stepped back to give it some space. Robert, feeling a strong connection, stayed close to the lion. He knelt beside it, looking into its eyes. In that moment, it felt like they understood each other without words. The lion didn't show any aggression. Instead, it seemed to look at Robert with a grateful gaze. Gently, Robert removed the ropes from around the lion's body. The lion, though a bit wobbly, stood up let out a soft roar that was almost like a purr, and slowly made its way back toward its pride. The rangers watched in awe as this special bond between man and wild animal unfolded. Life in the park soon returned to its usual rhythm, but Robert often thought about the lion he had saved. As months went by, the monsoon season arrived, bringing heavy rains and the threat of floods and landslides. The park authority warned all the rangers to be extra vigilant to ensure the animal's safety. 
However, during a fierce rainstorm, Robert was out patrolling his area, making sure everything was okay. The rain was pouring down so hard that his Jeep's wipers could barely keep up. He drove slowly, carefully watching for any animals that might need help. Suddenly, he noticed a large tree had fallen across the path. He stopped the Jeep and got out into the torrential rain, pulling his jacket's hood over his head. As he approached the fallen tree, he worried about how many animals might have lost their homes because of it. His thoughts were so focused on the fallen tree that he didn't immediately hear the rumbling sound of a landslide. By the time he realized what was happening, it was too late. A massive wall of mud and debris was rushing toward him. Panicking, Robert tried to run back to his Jeep, but knew he wouldn't make it in time. The only place to hide was the fallen tree. He scrambled up as high as he could and clung to the trunk, hoping to stay safe. Moments later, the wave of mud hit him with incredible force, trying to drag him away. Robert clung desperately to the tree, using every ounce of strength he had to stay put. As the first wave finally passed, he realized he was buried under a thick layer of mud and debris. Luckily, a small pocket of air had formed around his face, allowing him to breathe, though he was almost entirely stuck in the dense muck. Trying to stay calm, Robert knew that panicking would only make things worse. Time seemed to crawl as he worried about how long it would take for his colleagues to notice his absence. He knew they'd be overwhelmed with the landslide's aftermath across the park, making his situation even more uncertain. Suddenly, Robert heard a noise above him. Through a small gap, he saw some movement and thought he caught a glimpse of sand-colored fur. Though he was unsure, the noise grew louder, and he felt something heavy shifting over the mud. He held his breath, dreading that another landslide might bury him completely. Instead, the pressure began to lift. Someone, or something, was clearing away the debris. Then, a powerful roar made him shiver, followed by the sound of human voices. He tried to shout for help, but his voice was too weak. Fortunately, the rescuers seemed to know exactly where he was. Moments later, he saw light and took a deep breath of fresh air. When he was finally pulled out, Robert was stunned to see a huge lion, now covered in mud, standing next to the rangers. It was the very same lion he had saved months before. The lion had somehow found him and started digging, which led the rangers to his location. Robert couldn't believe it. The lion he had helped had now rescued him in return. It was a remarkable act of gratitude and the beginning of a special bond between them. After this, the lion no longer avoided people in the park. Robert often saw it during his patrols and they would share a look of mutual respect. The story of this extraordinary rescue spread through the park and beyond demonstrating how kindness can bridge gaps between different species. People were deeply moved, and the relationship between humans and wild animals was seen in a new light. So, what are your thoughts about this heart-touching story? Share your opinions in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on our new animal stories. Your support means the world to us.